<laughs> Nothing can help five-year-old Jan understand how he and his mother ended up here, a packed convention hall in Warsaw, Poland, filled with thousands of Ukrainians. He's constantly afraid. He's always afraid. He's afraid to sleep alone, says his mother, Katya Krush, after nights in this basement, as Russian missiles leveled his neighborhood two hours north of Kyiv. Everything is fine, she tells him. So do you, um, when you... Are you sure there's nothing flying here, he asks. They even don't know why they are here. They think, uh... Maybe they came for some kind of vacation or it's... They don't comprehend yeah. because they're too young. Yeah, too young. Multiply Jan by thousands of people a day, and that's who Tomas Shapua is trying to help at what's now the largest Ukrainian refugee hub in all of Europe, with up to 7,000 refugees Every here day. a day. I must work, you know, and I, I, I don't have to think about such a things too much because... It's, 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 it's really difficult and it's, it's a tragedy, you'll see. That's, that's, it's better not to think about that. The 1.5 million square foot expo is now a gateway to the rest of the world, where after crossing into Poland, refugees begin the real process, finding a temporary life beyond war. They're waiting to go somewhere. Yeah. Where is it now? Where is Estonia. Estonia. Yeah, they, they. They're getting to Estonia. Those with no destination yet, wait. How Very long fast. has this been going on? It's uh, less than a month. Less than a month. Okay. That becomes more challenging as the war stretches on. Thank you, Warsaw, says this woman in Ukrainian, one of the more than two million Ukrainian refugees who have arrived in Poland, more than 300,000 in Warsaw alone. The Polish people will welcome Ukrainians, whatever happens, because they are fighting for our freedom, and we do understand that. But of course there is a certain limit, human limit, uh, what, we can, what we can do. When you say you're at capacity, what do you mean? We've offered, as a country, free education, free healthcare to all of our guests, which of course means that you know, our schools uh, are going to be filled within weeks, that our hospitals are going to jam. Uh, Warsaw's mayor says no one will be turned away, but he needs help to help Jan, his mother, and the people of Ukraine. The Polish people accepted us well, she says. Good people. <laughs> good people. Yeah, good people. The mayor says that what he would really like to see is some sort of official system between the Polish national government and international and European allies to streamline this entire process. And he left us with this astonishing statistic. He says that there are now 30% more school-aged children in Warsaw than there was just one month ago.